Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll show you how to transform your desktop or laptop into an Android powered PC. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Step 1. Downloading Bliss OS. First, head over to bliss.org and navigate to download section. Here you'll find options for Bliss OS. We'll downloading the latest version. The download link will direct you to SourceForge where the download will begin automatically. Next, we'll be creating a bootable USB. Once the download is complete, open Rufus. Make sure your USB flash drive is plugged in. Then select the ISO file you just downloaded. Set partition scheme to GPT for modern PCs. If you're using an older system, choose MBR instead. Click start. When prompted, choose write in DD image mode. Once Rufus completes the flashing the USB, restart your PC. Continuously press the boot key to enter the boot menu where we'll simply select our USB drive and proceed to grub menu. Once we're in the grub menu, we'll use the down arrow key to navigate and press enter to select Bliss OS installation. This will take us to the Bliss OS setup program. Since we are doing a dual boot installation, we have an extra Samsung SSD where we'll be installing Bliss OS. Now using the arrow keys again, will highlight create or modify partitions and press enter. Here we need to be extra careful without making any mistakes. We'll select our spare Samsung SSD for the installation. In the next option, we'll choose no to continue to CF disk. Once inside CF disk, we'll begin by deleting all the existing partitions on our spare SSD. After that, we'll create a new EFI boot partition specifically for Bliss OS. When prompted for the size, we'll enter 512 and make sure to type M in uppercase at the end which stands for MB or megabytes. Next, we'll set the partition type to EFI system. Now it's time to create the main partition where Bliss OS will be installed. We'll make sure free space is selected then choose new partition. We'll use the remaining space to create this partition. Once done, we'll highlight the right button and type yes when prompted. This will finalize our partition setup. Now we can quit CF disk and proceed with the installation. Next, we'll select the Bliss OS EFI partition we just created and reformat it to the FAT32 file system. When prompted, we'll choose yes to confirm and finalize the formatting. Now using the down arrow key, we'll select partition we created earlier for installing Bliss OS. On next screen, we'll choose the ext4 file system and proceed to name the partition. We'll confirm with yes to begin formatting and continue with the installation process. When asked whether the installer should prepare OTA updates, here we'll select yes and in the next dialog, we'll choose yes to install the grub bootloader. With that, the installation of Bliss OS will begin. If you're interested in videos about other Linux operating systems, be sure to check out our channel and subscribe for more content. Once the installation is complete, we'll remove the USB pen drive and reboot our PC. When we access the boot menu, we should now see both Windows and Bliss OS listed. This confirms that we can switch between our preferred OS during boot. With that done, we'll proceed by restarting the PC. As the system reboots, we'll see the Bliss OS bootloader. Here we'll select first option. After a few seconds, the Bliss OS animation will appear, letting us know everything is working smoothly. Setting up Bliss OS is just like setting up an Android tablet or smartphone, so we'll fast forward this process. When prompted to choose a home launcher, you can select whichever one best suits your device. Since I'm not using a tablet PC, I'll go with the taskbar for a more desktop-like experience and grant the required permissions. And there you have it. Bliss OS is now finally installed right in front of your eyes. There's plenty to explore, but for now, we'll just take a quick look around. First impressions, it looks great. You can even customize it to resemble Chrome OS.
as for apps and games, Play Store apps ran flawlessly. However, if you're playing games using a keyboard and mouse, you will need to configure controls using a tool called XT Mapper, which requires root access. Since we have reached the end of this video, we'll save that topic for another time. So subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.